Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video is another colorful watercolor in which I am going to paint a snail. As always, you can find a list of the tools that I'm using in the description below. Whenever I am making a colorful painting like this, I usually look for reference pictures that are only black and white. This is because I want to prevent the picture from influencing my color choice. In the past, whenever I draw an animal that I know has a specific kind of color, I tend to stick to that color. For instance, foxes or tigers have an orange kind of color, they have stripes, you know um, what they look like. and I tend to use those colors if I know it and it takes away the effect that I want to create in my paintings. I want to steer away from those original colors. Therefore, whenever I look for a reference picture, I go for black and white and preferably also um, animals or objects, subjects, whatever. Um, of things that I don't necessarily see on a daily basis or have a basic knowledge of. Another important thing that I look for in a reference picture is a good contrast between the uh, dark and light values. I need the white and the black values to be really the main focus of a image and therefore it will also be the main focus of my paint. I need this big contrast because I see the colors that I'm using as a background layer and the black and white values is the thing that I will add with my ink. So it's very hard to create the grayscale or shading in black ink. You will have to use hatching and other techniques and if it is too much it will not look good on a painting like the ones I do. Now going back to the colors that I am using, I tend to use the same colors throughout every painting. This is mainly because they are my favorite colors. In the color palette that I'm using, there are about 20 colors, I think, um, but I may only use half of them. The main color scheme that I stick to are yellow for the lightest color. Um, then, depending on how the shading of the image is, I will use uh, orange, pink, and like between pink and purple for the midtones and then the darkest value will probably be uh, Windsor Violet. And these are also the colors that you can see me use in this piece. For the background it depends on the mood that I want to create. For this one I wanted to create like a brighter uh, image, so I picked lighter colors that were kind of orange and pink. And as a contrast I use blue for the lower part. I, I think the snail is on wood or something and I wanted that to be very defined. that I have been incorporating in the past, I don't know, two or three pieces is a second layer of color. If this had been me drawing this a year ago, I would have immediately started um, drawing with the ink. But for this, I wanted to create an extra layer because I wanted the detail of her shell to come through a little more. The second layer of color also reduces the need to put down a lot of ink later. Mm -hmm. 
I have been using the ink more as an outline lately and not as um, a way of putting in different kinds of shading. I think this is also a way to steer towards um, the more comic style uh, painting that I want to do. After I had finished this piece I realized it still looked too realistic. I know of some drawing challenges that you can do that will kind of, you know, help you create a more comic style uh, drawing and it's based on the time in which you are allowed to draw something. It starts out with like 10 minutes and then the second time you draw the same thing in only 5 minutes, then 2 minutes, then 1 minute, then a few seconds. And somewhere along that exercise you will realize that one will stand out and that that will be more comic than the others. The first one will probably be um, more realistic and then the last one you do in a few seconds will be total crap um, but along the I don't know five to three minutes um, area you will see that you have made a very simplified version of the original reference picture and that is something you can use to create an entirely new piece that is more comic related. I definitely want this kind of art challenge a try just to see how it could help me progress to the style that I want to achieve and how it will help me develop more as an artist. For the remainder of this video I will stop talking and let you enjoy the music. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.